Hey hello everybody. It's been a while since I've done a video. Besides the last one I did which was an update. I do not have the tow truck in the driveway as you can see. Because it would have been right here. So I got to Friday off in the weekend to do some house remodeling stuff and yard work and whatnot. Kind of like, you know, cutting the hedges down and trimming up trees and whatnot. So today we are going to service the lawnmower and do some basic stuff on because I've already been using it and I need to change the oil from last year so if I make this thing go down here guys so we are going to service that and try to clean the filters and like the trimmer which is up there and here's a blower or something so that's what we're going to do today and then this is the oil that I'm using So we're going to start with the blade. Just about to see what I'm doing. Here. Just a 5 8. You know, I don't take the spark plug wire off and all that stuff. Unless you think you're man enough to spin this thing fast enough to start it, go for it. I mean, it doesn't look too bad for wear. So I was going to touch it up. Actually, I could probably get away with not even doing it, to be honest with you, but... We will. So basically, I'm going to go downstairs in the basement. I'll take you with me, but the lighting sucks. So I'm just going to touch it up with the grinder and just stick a screwdriver in here to balance it. And then uh, we'll put it back on. I'll be right back. Alright, so we're all done. We're all shiny and balanced. And you can flip your mower back over too, so yeah, their stuff doesn't fill up the muffler and whatnot, but I'm not overly concerned. You can use an impact on this too. I'm just too lazy to go get it. As far as drain oil goes, this does not have a drain plug on the bottom, it would be right here. They never put it in. Which is, I find out it's kind of bull. But, so the way I gotta do it, I gotta take out the dipstick, and I gotta flip this thing over into the oil pan. So it's quite fun to do. much of the stuff you guys are feeling on the floor because that's what you guys are sitting on. Yeah, my gas cap's dripping a little. Pretty dirty from the season.
This is not a full bottle. So it actually should be pretty close. In the years past, I used to change spark plugs, fuel filters, everything, like every year like clockwork. It's just this year, things kind of came at me a little faster than normal, and so I'm actually kind of failing at doing this this year. It's kind of weird. I think we still need some more. I mean, some say they run their spark plugs two, three seasons. I don't like to do that, but this year we're going to. I mean, I do have spares that are sitting up there. So, I mean, I got spare stuff for these things. crap out of it yesterday. trimmer and the blower go. There's not a whole lot to do with these. At least mine. Basically pop it off. Make sure this is, doesn't have like you know, other stuff growing on it. I still see light through it and then I just uh, put it back on here. Like I said, I'm kind of doing, I don't say only half the job of this, but it hasn't given me any problems, so I'm not going to sit there and get nitty gritty on this thing. It's getting old, it's getting tired. I do like my Troy Belt stuff, however, this is a Craftsman. This is actually clean. I don't know if I cleaned this already once this before I started it or what, but this is actually clean. Hmm. Remember how to put this back on. As far as stuff that I run, it's basically I got 40 to 1 and 50 to 1 because the chainsaw is 40 to 1, but this new trimmer is 50 to 1. I mean, I ran either in this stuff. I never had a problem, which, I mean, I wouldn't do it, but I did it in a pinch. And then, like I said, that's just, uh, this is just oil that I run in the four cylinder for the straight 30 weight four cycle stuff. I got a very busy street I live off of, so that's why you hear so much of that. Um, motorcycles and everything. The right OB chainsaws right there. It's a 16 inch bar. Works great. You've probably seen it in other videos where I was cutting trees up with it. Still runs. Had it for, ooh, I don't know, five, six years now. Still starts every time. Yeah, I get some new chains and bars for it though. Those are kind of tired. You know, 
snow lure is basically done for the season, which I hope, because I'm kind of done with snow. So, um, that's about it. I, mean, I just wanted to do a quick video. I guess I usually get more nitty gritty on the mowers and whatnot, but this year is just in a different year. It still started just fine this coming season, so I'm just going to let it run. So that would be about it for the video. Um, I do got some more stuff coming down the pipeline. Uh, I'm probably going to do something with the Hummer. I got a carburetor install on that old 82 that I did a couple of cold start videos with. Well, it doesn't run no more. So I'm fighting with that. I got a new car coming. Should be here this week. And try and get that on there and see how that goes. I'll let you guys know what I bought. I'm not going to tell you right now, but it's definitely uh, a different style and it's black. So we're going to go with that. Um, what else do we got? We got some trailer stuff we got to get done. We got to haul some scrap. We're going to be doing the driveway. We're going to get a dump trailer and a bobcat. So we're trying to get videos of all that. So it should be a fun time. You know, I'll get videos as I can. I get every other weekend off right now, so I'm kind of working at that. I also do now horseback riding, so I don't have any videos, just photos. So I'll try and get a video next time maybe of you know, me kind of bouncing around on them. But uh, then I'll see what I can do by getting some videos out there. I've been slacking in this department, and I kind of missed it to be honest. So, whatever y'all, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.